Boys? Boys? Oh, they're coming. They're coming. They're on their way. Come on, lads. Fritz, that you? Nope, it's Matthias. Matthias, my son. Matthew. And Fritz. Matt LeBlanc. Listen, there's this lot of I, I need to get into. Really? An honest way not good enough for you anymore? It's just that someone has something that doesn't belong to him, and I want to take it back. <laughs> if you say so. It's not skin off my nose anyway. I've got some lock picks you can have. But if you get caught, you didn't get them from me. <laughs> Never no heard problem. You. Thanks, Fritz. Then, boys, you want to go wrap them up some more? Well, we sorted that. I know he's already well. pretty much dead, <laughs> but uh, close, eh? that old bastard didn't stand a Most chance. More. True, but I'm worried that fucker hands will snitch on us. Well, let him. Then I'll snitch on him. And anyway, what can they do to us for throwing a bit of dung? Good point. It's not as if anyone really likes the Deutsch. I need a hand with Kunesh. Sure, mate. You helped us, so we'll help you. Let's get to it then. I want you to tear down every board from this man's house. Kunesh! And give me back my nails. Get out here, you old goat! I've something to show you! We told him to run off, is the thing. Here it comes. Ready for round two, big guy? What the fuck are you here for? You want me to take a whip to you or call a catch pole? Just try it, you old drunk. Ah, fooling around. Well, lad. <laughs> It's that easy. Enough! Enough! I give up. Take what you want. It's not much, but it's all I have. You understand? Thanks, boys. Trespassing, smash passing. I'm gonna lockpick because I want to level this up. So how do you do this? Where the pick locks, you must have at least one lock pick in your inventory. Although it's better to have one or two spares since they get worn with use and in the worst case can break. You can start actual lock picking pressing B, pressing by holding A on the lock. You will then see a diagram of the lock mechanism, in which you will have to find the right spot to insert the lock pick. How close you are to the sweet spot is indicated by the size of the cursor, and it turns gold when you find it. Then you have to use the lockpick, the thumbstick, to turn the whole lock mechanism. At the same time, you have to coordinate the movement of the lockpick with the rotation of the mechanism, because the rotation shifts the position of the sweet spot. Try to turn the mechanism without having the lockpick in the correct position. The mechanism will stick, which will damage the lockpick or even break it. Any damage to the lockpick will produce a noise, which can draw unwanted attention, and breaking it will cause an even louder snap. What do they have me doing? Ah! I think I understand. I don't have any more lockpicks. Uh, you know what?
That's right. Eat the soup. Yeah, but over the last of me. What do we have here? Ale. Welcome, Henry. You are coal, charcoal. Greetings. Uh, in shops, you first have to put your purchase A into your basket, and then either confirm with the purchase or try to haggle. I don't care, just give me the charcoal. I'm gonna pay full price. I know it's, it's a hard day job. For how much? Five? We have. Zero. Um, we gotta sell these stuff, don't we? That's the thing. I'm gonna keep this stuff, actually, I think. Or should I? I mean, they're in others, maybe just sell them. Is it for freshness tied to it? They sell for ten apples for one gold. Give you fourteen. <laughs> Easy pickings. Uh, there you go. That's that. Who are you? Hail to the hero. Have you recovered from yesterday's great wound? Oh, it was nothing. Except <laughs> yeah, I recovered all right. Or two to say about it. No mother's happy when a son starts to take an interest in Wound. swords. Where there's weapons, there's death. The question is, what do you want? I don't want to rot in this hole forever. I feel like I don't belong here. I want to live and see the world. But the world's a dangerous place, and I need to know how to protect myself. Spoken like a man. And as it happens, today's your last chance. I have to leave. So, are you ready to get stuck in? Yes. Let's do it, brother. I'm ready. All right. I wait on the ground by the sheepfold as usual. All right. Oh. If I do, oh, we're clean. We're good. Look at my shirt. We're fine. It's that easy. Smell me. God be with you, Henry. I'm gonna disappear. Can't be that bad, can it? Let's go do the sword fighting first. I'm ready. Who told us men how to run? Hurry, right, Hoggish. I'm ready. So you're Vanyak, not Hoggish. So combat can arena. We yes. We can. We can. We can. Good. And since today's the last time we'll be seeing each other, you can show me everything I've taught you so far. Very well. Let's start with the basics. Keep moving. Your life depends on it. Alright, alright. 
Now try to hit me. All right, all right. You have to put your weight into your attack. If you just fiddle around, you'll get nowhere. Try slashing from different sides. Unpredictability is the key. Never repeat yourself. Mm -hmm. I'm aware. Ugh, nice. Yeah. Good. Ugh. Very good. Ugh. Good. Ugh. Nice. Ugh. Do a fake out? I don't know if you can do a fake out. The point of the blade is for stabbing. Try it a few times. Oh, brother. Ugh. Good. Yeah. Good. We attacks tend to be faster and more precise at the cost good. of force. Stabs can be aimed at... Okay. Good, good. Let's try something else. One strike, I can fend off without a sweat. But if you chain your strikes, I'll have a much harder time. As soon as you land one blow, follow it with another. Chain of strikes uh, into a combo. All right. Okay. All right. Nice. Alright. Oh, he's lucky. He's lucky. I understand. It just right. makes a match. That's enough. I don't know about you, but I'm tired of thirsty. Remember though, <laughs> no one becomes a master swordsman overnight. You have to work and work. And the main thing is to use what you've learned in real combat. There's nothing better than experience, believe me. I believe you. We getting a drink together, or what's up? I'll follow you. I think the last time we're gonna be seeing each other, man. You don't want to, you know, say sayonara. Just wolf to get a drink. I understand. I really do. It's the olden times. Or in person, combat master of Vendik. How are you? I'll walk with your friend. How are you, mate? How are you? Gambler? I'm not gonna gamble. And Henry knows better. I was coming into the tavern anyway. Look at that. Where's Bianca at? God save my lovely. You're looking well today. <laughs> you too, handsome. What brings you here? Here for uh, ale. What else could I expect from a village lout? <laughs> what will it be then, ragamuffin? Don't ever use that tone of voice with me. I need ale for father. A pitcher as usual? Aye. Bring me a cool one from the cellar. <laughs> but of course. Only the best for father. Here you are. Thanks. Don't just hand me it's a pitcher day. of ale. <laughs> you can pay me back this evening. Out Unless I'm in jail. Here you go. And this evening I'll have something more for you. <laughs> I can't wait. Thanks. I'm sorry, Henry. That was my money. Have something to look forward to. Point two of a goshkin. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Oh, um. By the way, that shifty-looking fellow was asking after you. Vanya. I suppose he is a man who makes his coin robbing honest wayfarers. I'm sure of it. I'll be happy when he's gone for good. But what in heaven's name are you up to with him? He promised to teach me how to use a sword. What use would that be to you? Something not right, lad. Enough. You sound just like father. It was not an all right, lad. Luigi over here. going now. See you this evening. How? Good day, Henry. I'll get something special for you. Is that so? Now, what would that be? Your favorite, Savior Schnapps. Really? Huh? <gasps> You're an angel. <laughs> I hope you'll thank me properly later. You bet I will. Luigi? Huh. Tobias for uh Fayfire. The shifty lad Venyak, you are 
and spitting distance, man. Sorry, it's not X. I would it be X? Doing the light, ma. Yaroslav. I'll be with you. I'm with you, Henry. How are you? Father sent me. We're forging a sword for Saradzik, and the Chamberlain has the cross guard and pommel. Father had them engraved in Sasau. Right. They're here. The Chamberlain gave them to us for you. We looked them over. Beautiful work. I've never seen anything so fine. Thank can't you. Can't wait to see the sword. Just make sure you don't botch it. And did I ever botch anything? Where shall I start? Ah, uh, shut up and give me what I want, or I'll kick your ass this evening. Right away, your lordship. Just you wait, friend. Magnificent. Pull myself off my bootstraps. I can't keep the sword for myself. Well, I better go if we're to get the job done by this evening. Godspeed. See you later in the tavern. You certainly will. After today's work, the ale might even be on me. Don't you say that's my money. Oh, father. I got the sword heel. The pommel. Run over knives. Just horse. About time. Have you got everything I wanted? I have charcoal, the hilt, and the ale. We can start. Good job. Let's have it then, son. Well done. Right. Let's see what kind of job the master and Sasal did for us. Look at that lad. Well, that's what I call craftsmanship. What does the inscription mean? Oh, damn if I know. Doesn't look like Czech to me. Latin, maybe? Lord Radzig ordered it. Oh, this will be the finest sword I've ever made. Have we got the charcoal? Good. And fire up the forge. We'll put it all together. By the way, someone paid me a call. I reckon you might know what it was about. I'm not sure. Really? Because I'm pretty sure you and your friends threw dung at Deutsch's freshly whitewashed house. He was here with the catchpole earlier, and it was not a friendly visit. What got into you, Hal? That Deutsch was talking treason in the tavern about Sigismund and the King. He got what he deserved. Got what he deserved, did he? You can go and clean up the mess you made and apologize to him. I have a trade to run. The German pays well. And having my son in the pillory helps nothing and nobody, least of all the king. You understand? Yes. Look me in the eye, Henry. Do you understand? I understand. Good. And we'll never have this conversation. Put them in the chest. So you think it's right to let traitors speak ill of our king? The boy gets caught making a fool of himself, and he still hasn't learned his lesson. So Deutsch spouts rubbish and what? You turn into a common thug. You might win a fight with violence, but you'll never win an argument. Remember, Henry. If you want to convince someone that they're wrong, try using your mouth and not your fists. That's why you put two points and two vocals, father. The furnace is ready. Top off that right, charisma. We'll do the grip.
I'll heat it That'll up. That'll be the king of converse. Take it out. You slip the grip on so it fits exactly. You know what you're doing. Don't let me do this, please. For it, do it by itself. Do it. Good. Once more. That's it. Done. Now file it down so it sits well in the hand. I'll prepare the guard. Actually, the nicest property in the village. <laughs> Look at that pearly boy. Father, why did you leave Prague? Who ever heard of a master swordsmith making horseshoes in a village? <laughs> I had my reasons, Hal. And here I have your mother and you. Why would I want any other life? Do you remember Emperor Charles? I do. Life was good under his reign. Better than now. He built half of Prague and a score of castles, had a bridge made over the Moldau and founded a university, and all without a war. He knew how to rule. Better than Wenceslas. Better by far. But Wenceslas doesn't have it easy. It's hard to step into the shoes of someone whose like is born only once a thousand years. What about Sigismund? You think Charles would have brought an army down on his own people like Sigismund? No. Wenceslas may not be the equal of his father, but Sigismund, he brings shame to the royal name. How's it going? Give it here, and we'll put it all together. It's magnificent. Indeed it is. The Lord be with you. My father sent me for those nails. Good day to you, Teresa. They're ready. Will you fetch them for me, Hal? They're in the trunk in the living room. Henry, are you all right? <laughs> I, I just got out of the cutscene, Teresa. Teresa? The beta? Maybe the cutscene, the uh, voice vocals are linked up with the uh, Zek or Shek and not English. Well, what am I doing here? Nails, nails, nails. Uh, boom, boom, boom. We don't mind, will they? It's my favorite drink. Also, we did kind of just sell all of our apples, is the issue. to get up. You ruined it. Tarnished. There is a nails. Here are those nails you wanted. Thanks. So how's Bianca? Um, she's fine. Why do you ask? Just wondering. Will you be going to the dance this evening? We will. I'm in prison. Maybe we'll see each other there. Anyway, mustn't keep you. I'll be on my way. That sword is truly beautiful. Henry. Fine lass, eh? Now stop staring at her and come and see this. It's time for the trial by fire. did a fine job. 
I would expect nothing less from such a renowned swordsmith. Well, those days are gone, sir. Hmm. You haven't lost your skills, though. Sir, are you a witcher? Would you like to try it? Sir, what good is a sword to a Let commoner? try it. You still have a lot to learn. Ask your father to show you how. He knows what he's about. Learning his trade will serve him better in life, sir. Perhaps. But who knows what the future holds for each of us. I see that you almost have it finished. If it just needs a polish, then Henry will bring it to you. Excellent. Fine work, very fine. A sword such as this will bring honor to its bearer. What say you say, Svan? True, Sir Radzik. If I'd have had its like back in Nicopolis, things would have worked out differently. How odd to find such an accomplished swordsmith working in a place like this. A man of his talent would have no problem making a fortune in Prague or Vienna. You're right. It's a very long and peculiar story. I'd be glad to listen to it over a cup of wine, but duty calls and I must leave. Here you are. Learn from your father. He truly is a master of his craft. I'm sure our paths will cross again. I pretty sure is not Shek. I think it's just bad vocals. I, I think he just did Bobo. Once it's ready, send your son up to me with it. Good work, Martin. Sure. It's been an honor, says Van. Have a safe journey to Sapo. The honor is mine, Sir Radzik. Thank you for the hospitality. A long, peculiar history. <laughs> that was a long time ago. I might tell you about it sometime, but not today. Will you teach me how to use it, like Sir Radzik said? Why? Well, it could come in useful. Maybe I'll travel a bit before settling down. I'd like to know more than the tavern on the green in the forge. You know the trouble with an adventurous life, son? It can end before it gets started. I might teach you how to handle a sword, and then someone will shoot you with a crossbow as soon as you set foot outside the house. You talk as if you've seen it happen. A man my age has seen a lot. Being a blacksmith might bring no glory, but it has its benefits, like keeping your head on your shoulders. I want to end my days in scallets, here beneath the linden tree and by your mother's side. Well, so do I, one day. But first, I'd like to see the world, meet new people. Meet them or beat them? Meet. You have to keep going on about it. <laughs> then you've no need to learn swordplay. A messenger. He was in a hurry. What's happened? Sword, go into the house and grab anything else important from the trunk. Go to the castle. Hurry, what about you? Your mother is in the village. I'll fetch her and we'll follow right behind. I'll go with you. No, you'll do what I say right now. Give the sword to Sir Radzik. If anything happens, he'll take care of you. He owes me. Get the snaps, Henry. Get the snaps. We really have a funny chance. Quickly! We have to close the gates. Move! Come on, 
we're closing. Move in, people! Come on, come out on! Out time. Oh, Henry, thank God. Get inside, quick, we have to shut the gates. Get running, people, come on. Mind this for me. Are you mad? You can't go back. Get through the gates. Mama, the best medic that's ever lived. Sir Ronzi's Kyoba sword. I don't know what it said. It was very quick. Run. Run, Henry. Ride a Talonberg and get a horse. <sighs> Mother. <laughs> Come on. Oh, he's a savior, Snappy. Go to hell, you tatar beast! Mine are your bomb bag goods, and I'll roast up last, very bond. Happy chap, I'm yes! Here you are, Toki of a two! Me china, I forgot to put Nagia and Billy, the sorrows! Say, Teresa from the comments. You can call your house on a horse anytime by whistling and then mounted movement. Thraw is the default speed for the horse. Canter ideally combines speed and stamina. Gallop as fast as Balsam Drain's horse stamina fast. Your horse is smarter than some people and will stick to the path where you're on. If you, uh, if you give him his head, begin cantering and don't steer him. Uh, your horse's stamina indicator will deplete when galloping. Uh, if you try to push your horse with stamina, it may throw you off. Galloping is, can be exhausting and complete your stamina too. I'll leave another experienced horseman. Yeah. Stop walking on Henry. I keep crouching, dude. We have died. I've died in combat.
Bom, 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 bom. Lawyer. <laughs> See you, nerds. That's right. Should be okay, right? I'm bleeding. Yeah. 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 I'm someone who can help you. Ravna. <laughs> you fools. <laughs> I'm on a cutscene. I am yeah. unhittable. Speak give me a little speed. Left. A little speed. Like I said, unhittable. Please. I didn't hit me and hit that button. Yeah. I tried to whistle at the people, yeah. get him out of the way. <laughs> I didn't mean it. <laughs> Dude, you don't even know what you're doing. Get out of here. Just run. Run for it. My horse is steaming, dude. We gotta get out. Warn the others. They've torn scallops. Again, hungry. We're parched. We made it. Someone give him a drink and bring hot wine and bandages.
Tell me, boy. Who are you, and where are you from? What in hell's name happened? I've come from Scalitz. They burned it to the ground. Slaughtered everyone. Who? Who burned it to the ground? A huge army. They attacked without warning. And, and they weren't Czechs or Germans either. Who then? I don't know. I've never seen armor like it or heard their language. Maybe Tartars? Tartars, you say? Yeah. Well, we'll deal with that later. First, let's have a look at that leg of yours. Grit your teeth, boy. I'm gonna pull that arrow out. Where's mother? I need her. Easy. All done. You were lucky, lad. The arrow missed the bone. It only needed bandaging, and I've done that often enough before. War is a good teacher. Can you stand? There you go. As good as new. Thank you. If you idlers nothing better to do, get back to work. You'll have to speak to Lord Divish. Can you manage? Sir, this is a survivor from... I heard, Robart. Tell me, boy, what exactly happened? Did you see the insides of the attackers? And were there any more survivors? So, um... I don't know what army it was, but it was huge. There were dozens of banners flying on the hill above Scalitz. The ones who did the slaughtering spoke a, a, a strange language. They burned Scalitz to the ground. But a lot of people took refuge in the castle. I wasn't quick enough. And as I fled, they shouted from the battlements that I should come and warn you. The soldiers the boy didn't recognize. They could be those Cumans of Sigismund's. It said they came to Hungary from the east, and now they're the core of his army. Sacking Gutenberg must have given him a taste for stolen silver. Scalus is a small castle, sir. If Sigismund attacks, they can't hold. Indeed, Sir Robard. And our small garrison would be no help, even if we could risk sending them. You think we're next in line? Maybe. What's your name, boy? I'm Henry, son of the Scalitz blacksmith. I know him. Did he make it inside the castle? I'm sorry. It's in God's hands now. No one else can help us. Anyway, thank you for risking your neck to warn us. Robard, take care of Henry. Make sure he gets something to eat and some rest. Yes, sir. And get all the people inside the gates. We have to prepare for the worst. Make all the necessary arrangements. As you command, sir. Ride to Thalmer. He's done it. Tall to Sir Robard. Come on, game, you got it. He's done it. Thalmberg. Robard? Ma'am. Ma'am. Do the sweep and somewhere else. You've done well, lad. I'm sorry for your loss. You must be all done in. Why don't you go to the kitchen and have a good meal? Sorrow is easier to bear on a full stomach. What a kind lad. 
Thank you, Robard. Must. I heard about your father. He's. I'll go with Sir Robard. He's leading me there. Gotcha. Where are you go? I can't understand hey, why he wasted his talents, but I'm sure he had his reasons. He had a fine reputation. So Divish has suffered. Okay. Ah, Milady. You are fortunate our good lady Stephanie of Talmberg has graced us with her presence. My lady, I'm honored. So this is our brave young man. Welcome, lad. Bojena here will take care of you. No doubt you're tired and hungry. <laughs> Indeed. How could he not be, poor soul? After everything he's been through, he must be as hungry as a bear. Aren't you, young master? Here you are, then. Eat your fill. And a little wine to wash it down. That's a huge you, bowl. Milady. I don't drink, my lady. We drink when now, you're boys. Done, you can go and rest with the grooms in the outer bailey. No, that won't do, Sir Robard. After all he's been through, he deserves a proper bed. Let him sleep in a lodge in the courtyard. Certainly, my lady. Young Henry here is overwhelmed by your generosity. Yes, yes. Thank you, my lady. May God reward you for your kindness. Eat up now. You're in capable hands, so I'll leave you to it. Good night. Good night. Good night, man. Part elf. Those ears are to the moon. When you've done, you can sleep in the bedchamber of the courtyard lodge. And don't forget to take off those filthy boots before getting into bed. We're home, boys. We will sleep until different foods have different properties. Apple won't fill you up like a roast dog, but it will stay fresh for longer. It's going to be more effective for healing. I know you're hungry and been to a roast dog. So we are hungry, so, uh, you know. Pretty much just giving it to me. I'll eat whatever I can get my hands on. Cheese? You can go wrong with some cheese. What's the aging like? Again, lad. Can you see the spoil? Uh, two days, yes. Five days, four or five. Infinite. Add 30 health and dispel hungover effects. Gotcha. Until you just digested everything. Easy. You don't mind, do you? We'll go ahead, sleep, and uh, probably call there. It's half past three. Sorry, the bed's right here. Oh, you pass out of me now. Your bed. Sit on it and then press A to set how long you want to sleep for. We'll see what time it is, shall we? Someone 
Wake up at 7 in the morning, that's fine. We didn't really ride that long. It was like two minutes. Yes? It is I, Henry. Forgive the intrusion. I didn't wake you, boy. Did I? Uh, my lady... Uh, um... No, no, not at all. But what brings you here at this hour? I thought you could do with a little wine. I don't think how friendly you are. what you need to help you sleep. My lady, um, thank you. You really shouldn't. You could have sent a servant. I was going to, but to tell you the truth, I couldn't sleep either. I thought of you while saying my prayers. How awful it must have been for you. I came to offer you solace. To let you know you're not alone. Thank you. Thank you kindly. You're welcome. Now, Henry. I know this is all very new and strange for you. But I want you to feel at home here. You're not to worry about anything except getting better. God knows you've been through a terrible ordeal. I know what it is to be left alone in the world. Although your loss is much greater. But with God's help, the pain will ease in time. And it can help to talk about it. If you feel like it. Might be right, my lady. Why not? I'll tell you what happened. It was terrible and unexpected. The day started just like any other. Father sent me into town on some errands. I went to the tavern to buy ale for father. I know it's a job for a groom, but I didn't mind, because my girl Bianca worked there. I courted her a while and we agreed to meet in the evening, but our meeting was never to happen. Oh, dear boy. When I'd done all the errands, I headed back home. I promised father I'd help him with his work, and I was looking forward to it. He was forging a sword for Sir Radzi. The sword was taking shape when Sir Radzi himself came to have a look at it. He praised father's work and said that with his smithing skills, he could easily make a living in Prague or Vienna. You don't say... But Sigismund's horde was already on the horizon, ready to attack the town. A horde of soldiers was amassed. Pennants flapped in the wind, the armor glinted in the sunlight, and the horses whinnied impatiently. They were waiting for Sigismund to give the command to attack. How awful. Really? You fell for that? I mean, it's kind of what happened, but he kind of, like... If, uh... The gate to the castle was open. The bells and horns sounded the alarm and the villagers ran to the castle to take cover. They were carrying the few possessions they could grab in haste and I saw the terror in their eyes. I can't even imagine how awful it must have been. It's a great I camera ran to the castle point of view. like our neighbours to take cover but I didn't make it. I had to find another way to save myself. The men on the battlements called down to me to flee to Talmberg and warn you. I was lucky I knew a concealed path around the castle. I wasn't safe yet. The humans were going from house to house below the castle, looting and then torching them. They encircled the castle, and it was clear they could spot me at any moment. 
May God punish them. Then I heard a scream. It was Teresa, the mill wench. She'd been caught by a gang of human savages who planned to violate her. I had Sir Radzik's sword, and even though there were several of them and they were better armed, I had to try and save her. I wanted there to be at least one person I'd helped. And I succeeded, even though it almost cost me my life. After that, I stole a horse from them and rode off. Like a valiant knight. Yep, I whistled and got on their horse. It will hold <laughs> for the rest of my life. That's terrible. How could something like that happen? God alone knows why he lets such things happen. Oh, you poor boy. I understand your grief, but God is not to blame for the ills of this world. That is the work of Satan and those who do his bidding. Those who are corrupted by greed, envy, and pride. You must not lose faith, whatever life brings. Fate has not been merciful to me and my husband either. Although in comparison to the horrors he went through. I was young when I married my husband. It was my father's wish. Divish was a lot older than I, but a woman must bear her lot. Shortly after our marriage, before I even got a look at Talmberg, the castle was stormed and my husband was imprisoned. Really? My husband had some quarrel with Sir Havel Medek of Valdek, who decided to resolve it by force. He stormed the castle, burned down the village of Pribislovets, and killed many of our men, even the old Chamberlain. He imprisoned my husband in the castle and put his own garrison there. That's awful. I was barely 18 years old, and all of a sudden, I was left alone with Sir Robert. We didn't know what to do. We went to Prague to appeal to the king and sought help from Divish's friends, but all to no avail. We tried for years, but it seemed I was destined to be left alone and my husband to rot in jail in his own castle. Years, you say? Seven years. That's how long it took before Havel was condemned as an enemy of the crown. And even then, he refused to surrender the castle and release my husband. In the end, I raised the money to pay a ransom. And only then, by the grace of Lord Jesus, did I finally lay eyes on my husband once more. Seven years. And was Havel punished for it? Never. And after seven years, my husband returned to me an infirm old man. Sir Divish seems like a good, strong man. Well, certainly. Only he has many concerns. He had to rebuild Talmberg. After he was released, the king appointed him Burgrave of Prague Castle, and he was very busy. He had no time for me at all. But at least we were in the city, and there was something going on. And now, we're here. My lady, you're still young and beautiful. Your best years are still ahead of you. Would that that were true, lad. Would it were true. But what am I doing bothering you with this? You have troubles enough of your own. I'll go and let you sleep. I enjoyed our little talk, Henry. Good night, and God bless. Good night, my lady. I don't like the pillow being on that side. Do you not like that one bit? You should be against the wall, Henry. Oh, 
Henry, wake up. You don't want to miss this. What is there? What's happening? Come to the battlements. One of our patrols reported a company heading here from Skelets. Go to the battlements via the gateway stairs. Next time. Game saved. Easy. Already at the castle, Rom. I mean, that's a minute into the future, so I'm kind of worried. Oh, it's 3:48 now. It's 3:49. But okay. That's right. That's right. 1.4 hours. Uh, I'm out. We'll do more of this tomorrow, maybe, or Sunday. I don't know. I'll figure it out. The loot is really hot. It's about to go to an unknown. F go to a known fence. Millers have a reputation of being known in shady deals. I visit him repeatedly. Alright, and there's no way to change controls for anything? Maybe on the main menu? The nada. Alright. Okay.